Hello people, today I'm going to give you an overview, or show you an overview, of my auto in Cheetah 3D. Okay. So, yes, it took a long time to make this, as you can see. So, the main thing is grouping everything together. Like here, obviously. This would be the whole thing. Under tubes would be like just the main big tube. So that way he would slide down. It would be like this. And then the, the main wheel. One of the main ones. There are no bones in this animation, as you can see. It's just all grouping in the objects, rotating them. <coughs> so, all right, show you the inside. You basically start with the eye. So let's go into our shell. The don't is don't move the whole thing, because then the whole thing will move and it will look crappy. So let's move them one at a time. This is the left panel, which is this one. Take this one, open it that way. So yes, it does look awesome and brilliant and perfect. So then you have your gears. Obviously this is going to make everything rotate, which you don't really want that. <coughs> so the inner gear is basically your inner partition and your lens, of course. I don't know why I'm not doing that. And the outer gears are basically this. So then you just create different keyframes. So for example, where's my marker at? All right, here we go. Let's create that here. And here, I'm gonna move like this. So when you play it, yeah, it'll look like that. And then you obviously make it go faster and <coughs> rotate better like that. So, mm, let's see what else we need. Oh yes, for example, using the taser and as I call the grabber whatever that is so let's get our shells out of the way for a minute zoom in here now I'm obviously not going to show you or actually do a step-by-step -step thing. You can model it. I'm not going to show you. One, I don't have the time, and I don't feel like it, and, and you know. Wait, it's the grabber. Okay. It's main wheel, black rim, W grab. The whole thing rotates this so like when he collapses and goes up the chute he you know see so it's basically just rotates around the whole thing and it can connect in there like puzzle piece we'll just leave it about there and then when you go into the grab that basically rotates this whole thing out <coughs> and then when you zoom in here go into there go into the pincher which makes this go out, and then I'll go into there, 
go to this one. This is easy here. Right, let's just create a keyframe. <clears throat> just for the heck of it. Create that there. Go about, okay, 30 right here. Rotate up. Keyframe it. Go back to here. Which one is, okay. <clears throat> okay, so rotating on the X axis is 220. So when we get to this one, we want to make this 220. Keyframe it. Exact same thing on this side. Might as well keyframe it there. And do that here. Go to the middle. Okay. Looks good, I guess. And obviously, if you use the whole wheel, it'll rotate simultaneously. Here. And make it rotate down here. Now there might be a little... Like, see that, how it jets out at you? I don't know why it does that, so you've got to correct it. Put a key for in the middle. So, yeah, you got to tweak it a lot, and it's bullcrap. So that's mainly the only problem thing about it. So then you have to, like, go like this again. Which I don't know why. It <clears throat> some mathematical principle that I don't want to learn about. So yes, that is, um, okay, for modeling the, uh, as you can see, this piece right here is just a square and you have to like, so I do tell you that much. And the taser is two pieces as well. How long is is this gone for? Oh, I don't know. I'll try to hurry up here. The eye was tricky. Getting it to look like that. How do you do it? Not telling you. Okay, for the taser, obviously the bottom one down here is not going to move because it never does in the movie, so it obviously wouldn't in this case. Go down to the taser part where it says flip, so it will flip open like this, and then I just added like in Final Cut Express here, I just added the sparks again. So yeah, and it just like like that. So, <clears throat> knowing me, I like to get all the details good. If you have the <clears throat> slit right here, so if it were to pass over this, it would, would collide and cause a problem. So that's pretty much it. I guess. Um, let's see. Okay, this one.